Israel has released a statement in response to these UN Human Rights Council findings. The Foreign Ministry says the theater of the absurd of human rights has produced another biased report that's based on false information and its sole purpose is to discredit the Middle East's only democracy. Israel also says it has the right to self-defense and to protect its citizens from violent Palestinian attacks. Palestinian writer and academic Mohammed Makram Balavi joins now from Istanbul. Good to speak to you. So what do you make of Israel's reaction to this report? I think this is a normal and expected reaction. Israel never cooperated with any investigation. And also uh, they, they try to blame the victim instead of confessing their crimes. The biggest crime actually they committed occupying the uh, land of the West Bank and Gaza Strip. But it seems that the whole world has forgotten about it. Even the uh, Bulgaristan re report was rejected by the Israeli government. Previously, the ISQA report also was rejected by the Israeli government. So this government doesn't actually feel that it's doing any uh, crime or breaking any international law. So this decision reached by the United Nations, does it have any significance at all? Sure, sure. For, for a very long time, Palestinians uh, have been saying that Israel uh, is attacking them for no clear, clear reason. They always describe Palestinians as terrorists. But this time, Palestinians are just demonstrating peacefully on in, in the control line. Many of them are children, journalists, uh, paradigmics, uh, and also uh, writers, but these people did not even fire one shot towards the Israeli soldiers who are, and snipers who target women, children. More than 165 Palestinians were killed, many of them 500 meters away from the fence. I think it is Mohammed, time will this to increase pressure help on is, Israelis is... accountable. And will this increase the pressure on Israel to change its policy towards Palestine? Unless the United States and the world in general put more pressure on Israel, they will not uh, confess their crimes and they will never cooperate. This, this, is ha this has been going for more than half a century now. And report after report is uh, declared and uh, Israelis never abide by the uh, reports never acknowledge the results, never cooperate, because there is no international pressure to compel them to acknowledge their crimes. Well, we have to wrap it up here. Thank you very much for that insight, Mohamed Makram.